Take some risks with the Head Extreme MP 2022. Head continues to update their racket families with the new Oxetic technology. And next on the list are the Extremes. With a more responsive feel, the Extreme MP not only has new technology, but also a sleek new look. Additionally, it is loaded with spin thanks to spin grommets for enhanced snapback and stability from Graphene 360 Plus technology throughout the frame. The racket is quick and whippy in the hands of intermediate to advanced level players. The new Head Extreme MP is a great racket for a wide variety of players. With this new update, um, it's even more maneuverable than before, making it really easy to swing and to use, but it also provides, provided me with tons of spin on my shots. On my ground strokes, I was able to get lots of easy spin and depth, um, also great net clearance as well. However, I would have liked a little bit more mass um, just to help with some torsional stability as well as some put away power. Uh, up at net and on my serves, just really whippy, really easy to swing and just to use. Um, it was just kind of point and shoot for me in those areas. Overall, I thought by just making it slightly more headlight and a little bit more maneuverable, it was a subtle update, but one that's gonna make it more appealing to a wide variety of players. This is a really solid play test with the Extreme MP. I feel like I've had a favorable um, experience with this new Oxetic technology across the board, and this was no exception. Um, I'll echo a couple of Jay's comments. From the baseline, it gave me really easy net clearance uh, as well as heavy top spin. Um, so that coupled with directional control uh, gave me the confidence to really swing through the ball and get my opponents moving through the court. Um, so it allowed me to control points in that fashion. Now, I was missing a little bit of mass compared to what I normally prefer, um, but overall, really positive experience from the baseline. Now, moving up to net, um, I really liked taking time away from my opponents. I didn't necessarily use uh, a lot of finesse with my shots. Um, and then on serve, uh, this is something that I stayed away from flat shots. Now this racket's engineered obviously to be a spin friendly racket so even on first serve I was looking to slice and kick the ball um, and that proved most effective. So overall this racket's super maneuverable, very spin friendly and definitely worth a look. And the rest of our team is on the east coast. Chris, how did this racket work out for you? Thanks Sage. It's been a while since I've got on court with the extreme. I've missed the last couple of reviews but back in the day I always liked this racket. I've always been a fan of those firmer, fast feeling rackets, like a pure drive, and this one definitely falls into that realm. And with this racket, I was finding it super easy to generate pace and depth off the ground. I like this racket with a fast swing, so I carried a lot of tip speed, I had a good experience. When I took some uh, pace off and I was trying to bleed pace off the ball, I found this racket just to collapse a little bit, didn't really have the mass I was looking for to help me out on my drop shots. And so when I was hitting short angles of drop shots, I was actually, again, carrying a lot of tip speed and cutting under the ball, using a lot of spin to achieve that same angle that usually I would just achieve with a little bit of touch. Um, I found that also to transfer to the net where I, punching through the ball had great results. When I was looking to bleed some pace off again, I had to just knife through that to uh, keep the racket nice and solid. But when I got that figured out, I played some great doubles with this racket. It was fun, it was easy to use on serve. Again, super fast and whippy get all that spin that I need to clear the net and get the ball inside the box. And then on the return, I could hit a big return cross court with a lot of top spin or again, whip an angle. So if you like to go big with your ground strokes, I think this is a great way to go. I have play tested several generations of the Extreme MP and true to its name, I found this update to offer plenty of spin and it was super easy to swing. From the baseline, I found I had easy access to power and I loved how deep my ground strokes were landing in the court. I really love the spin potential of this racket. One of my favorite things to do is whip my wrist around and I was able to hit a variety of shots and be really creative with my shot selection. Compared to the previous generation, I thought this racket was missing just a little bit of stability. I was noticing I didn't have as heavy, I wasn't hitting as heavy of a shot and maybe wasn't penetrating through the court as much as I would like to. I prefer to play singles over doubles with this racket. I really love getting a groove from the baseline. And I just found when I was up at net, I wasn't putting the ball away as efficiently as I would like. Overall, I found this to be a very user-friendly racket that was really easy to swing and offered great spin potential. We strung up the Head Extreme MP 2022 with Head Links Tour and Head Links at around 52 to 53 pounds. 
For more information on this racket or any others, please check us out at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.